Hey everyone, this is Aegis, and this is the third game between UMBC and UC Riverside. And here I have the Teal Protoss GN spawning here for UC Riverside, and his ally is going to be Khan, the purple uh, Zerg player. On the other side, we have uh, the blue Terran uh, Nurzul and his ally Bruce Lee, the red Protoss, playing for UMBC. Uh, we're gonna be on this map called uh, Scorched Haven. Uh, Scorched Haven is an interesting map uh, for 2v2. It has uh, basically a pretty easy uh, natural expansion, but uh, no good places to take a third base. So generally these games tend to end uh, pretty uh, quickly. Uh, pre oh, I would say pretty quickly, uh, under 20 minutes. Uh, a lot of them uh, way under 15 minutes. But we'll see what happens in this 2v2 game. Uh, UMBC versus UC Riverside. This is the Collegiate Star League. Check out the Collegiate Star League at cstarleague.com. And uh, for some of you who might have watched my cast before, uh, you'll notice that the uh, quality here is a little bit better today uh, because I got a new uh, computer with a, some new graphics card, uh, the GTX 460. So we're going to be able to see some more higher quality um, casting here, uh, more 1080p instead of 720p stuff. There's Will getting his barracks down on the low ground, going to be walling this off uh, to prevent any zerglings from running in, but his ally Bruce Lee is walling on the high ground. Uh, we'll see if this is detrimental in the long run. Uh, Gian and uh, his zerg ally obviously cannot wall off this area, so Gian is going to wall himself or sort of place his buildings near the front uh, type of wall in. His gas is now getting up, immediately putting uh, probes into it, always great. Uh, build something and then use it immediately, Bruce Lee uh, doing uh, not that. Finally getting some probes into there and a probe moving out, probably in a third down, a cybernetic score, there we go. GN also getting his cybernetic score up a little bit earlier. Uh, Nurzel getting his marines out. Uh, supply Depot on the low ground, as well as the Orbital Command incoming. We'll see what uh, Zerg is up to. He is now getting the uh, speed upgrade. He does have... Uh, no, that's not, that's not a Zergling. Um, he does not have any Zerglings out on the field, so it does look like uh, he'll be getting some soon. Uh, two Zerglings on the way, as well as the Queen. Nurzel going for a pretty fast expand, actually. Uh... Completely sp skipping the gas, gonna throw down a bunker to help defend that. Uh, his ally Bruce Lee is, uh, is chrono boosting out the uh, warp gate research, getting his second gateway out as well. Uh, no units yet, just the stalker uh, starting to spawn. The two uh, zerglings uh, from um, Khan are moving forward, gonna meet up with a couple of marines. Probably gonna have to back out of there. Yeah, there are the marines and the bunker. They do see the bunker, so they know something is up. I do not believe they were able to see the expansion. Now, one marine is a little bit too far out. Gonna get taken out and kills one zergling. Uh, not quite worth it. Stalker is also out on the field now. Does look like Khan is gonna go ahead and get his natural expansion as well while his ally uh, grabs the second at gas. We'll see what kind of tech path he decides to pick using that second gas. Uh, continually making probes. Uh, everyone is doing so except for Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has paused probes production for just one second, getting his uh, two other gateways up. Uh, gonna be chrono boosting that warp gate research once again. A couple of zerglings running through the front, and as well as a Gian stalker coming up as well. Uh, SCV is getting pulled off the line there to help deal with it. Bruce Lee's um, two stalkers are moving to the backside. Gonna try to deal with those a few zerglings. Zerglings are gonna try to run up to the front again. Gonna be walking into the main of Nurzel and will be able to see the four barracks all churning out marines. Uh, running into the mineral line, gonna try to pick off of that mule. Two marines now spawning, gonna be able to send those uh, uh, zerglings out. <laughs> Getting taken out by the stalkers at the ramp. Does look like the four warp gate is now complete for Bruce Lee. Uh, GN is getting up his uh, four warp gate uh, just a little bit later. Uh, he does have warp gate already, but he has not. Yeah, there we go. Finally morphing them into warp gates. Going to be getting uh, his stalkers guarding the front, seeing when uh, Nurzel and um, Bruce Lee might move out. It does look like Khan is getting his lair at his natural expansion, a pylon from Gian warping over here. Not sure what that's all about. 
uh, Khan also getting his banlings nest up. Additional stalkers uh, coming to the front, uh, more zergling spawning, uh, Khan and uh, Jian do look like they're trying to go for some sort of attack. Uh, they keep moving their units over here, however Jian just got his uh, uh, expansion up, Khan has an overlord parked over there. Uh, the stalkers are going to poke in the front, going to uh, take a couple of shots at that um, at the marines over here. The marines are going to yeah, force a retreat. Bruce Lee's the stalkers are reinforcing, going to be able to chase away the smaller stalker force. Uh, no expansion from Bruce Lee just yet. He is getting the Twilight Council, perhaps going to be going for some blink or charge. Uh, he does have a probe out here, maybe thinking about grabbing that expand real soon. Jian does have the robotics bay, the, the Colossus Den on the way. Uh, also, the robotics facility is complete. You need that to get the Colossus Den. Stalkers still poking up the front, not really making any other units, uh, except for these uh, zealots and sentries to guard uh, at home. So we probably will be seeing quite a bit of Colossus out of Jian right now. Uh, in the near future, he's not spending the Chrono Boost at his main nexus. Food counts are generally even with Jian, just a little bit behind because of the supply block. Uh, throwing down the double pylon right now. Uh, Bruce Lee continuing to get the gateway units. Uh, no robotics on the way just yet. He is chrono boosting out the blink upgrade. Uh, he does have uh, plenty of energy as main nexus. A little bit low on that probe count. Uh, probably want to make a couple more probes to help saturate the uh, natural expansion. The stalkers poking once again. Going to get uh, lowered, their shields lowered, but not quite uh, taking out any stalkers here. Does look like the first Colossus is about halfway done. Jian might uh, want to go for the double robotics production. Always great against a Terran a Marine Marauder Balls as well as against a largely gateway composition. Additional uh, sentries warping in for Bruce Lee. Uh, d I don't think they even know uh, that their opponents are going for... Uh, yeah, they don't know about the Colossus. Uh, we also see a double forge coming up for Jian. Going to get the double upgrades up. The first Colossus is also out on the field now. Tons of Banelings over here. Going to be uh, burrowing into the ground. Using the Stalkers as bait. Oh man, those Banelings could... Wow, taking out a bunch of Marines there. Additional Banelings popping up out of, under the ground. Going to be able to take out a bunch of Marines as well as a ton of Stalkers. Nurzel taking up the bulk of the damage. Losing a couple more uh, Zealots there. Um, uh, Bruce Lee's... Uh, Stalkers have lost quite a bit of health. Gonna have to remake that army before thinking about pushing out. Uh, tons of Banelings being morphed by the Zerg player. It does look like they have a purely anti-ground army. Uh, Colossus. More Colossus. Uh, assimilators going down. Gonna be able to support additional Colossus production. And tons of Banelings. These Banelings will do great against the ground armies coming out from both Nurzel and Bruce Lee. Uh, they need to scout this and be able to get out more power units, maybe uh, more Colossus for Bruce Lee, or I mean a first Colossus would be nice as well. Uh, perhaps more probes saturation will allow him to do more tacking. Nurzel looking great on the saturation, plenty of SCVs all over the place. Wow, Khan being very bold, taking the center gold expansion. Very hard to usually hold this. Uh, does look like he feels quite comfortable in this position. Does have plenty of money to be able to make plenty of units as well. Uh, doing great on the larva vomits. Uh, the queen's not quite rising very high in energy. Uh, he also is getting those mutalists out on the field. Uh, Gian is uh, continuing to get his colossus as well as his double upgrades. Bruce Lee and Nurzel look like they might be uh, looking to move out. They do have an observer up front now. Going to be able to take out a couple of banelings now. Uh, not going to let those do the damage. Now the Banelings unburrowing, going to have to back out of there uh, before getting taken out. Tons of Banelings there, uh, using them as landmines. Uh, looks like this expansion will get taken out by Nurzel and uh, his ally Bruce Lee. Uh, the Banelings will be meeting up with the Colossus and uh, perhaps going to be trying to take this army out. Does look like Bruce Lee and uh, Nurzel do have the larger army. Uh, more Zerglings here waiting to be morphed. Another expansion going up there. Uh, this, uh, if he can get those Banelings uh, to splash uh, perfectly, it, it will do tons of damage and put Nurzel very far behind. Tons of force fields going down, uh, wasting quite a bit of energy, actually. 
looked like he wanted to trap some of those army units, but he could not. Uh, the uh, Banelings now morphing. Wow, tons of Banelings. 25 Banelings on the way. Uh, looks like no anti-air for Zerg at all, except for those Mutalists that I saw early, earlier. Uh, if there was just one Banshee, this army could be in a lot of trouble. Maybe a couple of Void Rays for Bruce Lee. But it does look like he is going for his uh, own uh, robotics facility now. Going to be getting out a couple Immortals to help deal with the Colossus. Uh, Bruce Lee is looking a little bit dry in his main. Uh, the Chrono Boost still not being spent. And now getting the uh, Dark Shrine does look like he feels a little bit behind. Going to try to use the Dark Shrine to do some damage. Use the Dark Templar to do some damage and get back into this game. Khan now has the uh, Rolly Banelings, uh, the Speed Banelings with the Centrifugal Hooks. Going to be able to roll into the enemy army uh, even faster. Uh, faster terrorists, always bad thing. Uh, so Nurzel is getting, um, it's still getting the infantry. Uh, Barry still pumping out plenty of units, not quite utilizing that factory. He uh, could tr start transitioning at this point out of the Marine Marauder Ball. Going to be getting some of those Vikings out on the field to help deal with the mass Colossus uh, coming out of GN right now. Additional Colossus are now spawning. Uh, does look like uh, we have uh, more Observers coming out. Bruce Lee's Dark Shrine is almost complete. Not quite sure what they want to do right now. That one observer from GN is parking itself up here. Roach is now joining the best mix. And uh, the Banelings and uh, Zerglings moving to the front. Those look like the Protoss is now reinforcing it with a, uh, five Colossus. Uh, and a ton of stalkers. This army is looking really strong. The Banelings now rolling forward. Wow, this uh, needs to stim up and move back. The Banelings might get tons of shit. The four seals going down, the Banelings funneling through, doing tons of damage. Oh my goodness, losing his entire army there. Nurzel unable to back out of there, and the Colossus chewing away all of the stalkers. The four seals going down, going to be able to hold the Terran army in place. Dark Templar now in the front, doing tons of damage. Uh, not quite able to see that, but uh, GG calls Nurzel. Nurzel has left the game. That one Dark Templar also going down. Uh, GG calls Bruce Lee, and this game does go to UC Riverside, so it is now 2-1. Uh, it does look like UC Riverside has a chance to do a reverse all-kill. We'll see if they're able to do that in the coming games. We'll be seeing uh, Game 4. Um, I can't remember what map it is on, but uh, there will be Game 4 coming up. This is Aegis signing off.